Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a quick run through of the standard home assistant cards and then show you some more advanced light cards when they are used in conjunction with other cards to create the perfect dashboard for you. And that's the important thing here. One dashboard is not any better than a specific dashboard if it meets your needs. Hence the point of watching these videos is not just to copy, but understand the capability so that you can use that knowledge to perfect the dashboard that you want. So today we're going to run through six different types of lighting cards, and they are the standard Home Assistant Lovelace light card, the light entity card, the slide entity card, the mushroom light card, the RGB light card, and the hue like light card. We'll be covering the installation configuration and the user cases for those. So as usual, um, we're running on Home Assistant 2023.8.3, which is the latest version as of recording of this video. The cards that are shown here are the standard Lovelace light cards. If we go to edit the dashboard and have a look at the code, we'll see they're put into a vertical stack and they come through as master bedroom lamps. As I said, this is a group that controls both lights at the same time. You can specify a specific name for it, but it will pick up on the name for the entity. You can give it an MDI icon. In my case, I've called this lamps, but likewise, we could change this to whatever we wanted it to be. There's a theme you can use. Themes is a totally separate topic. We'll come back to that later. The default hold action brings up the more information. The main functionality here is the slider. We can rotate the gauge around to the desired level, or we can click on them once and they'll turn off and likewise toggle back on. The mushroom lighting card is a minimalistic card that has a lot of functionality. The mushroom theme, it does not come standard with Home Assistant. You need to be able to install it. To be able to get it, you need to have hacks installed. I've created a video on how to install hacks onto your system. I'll put the links in the description. To be able to install the mushroom theme, go into your hacks, go into front end. As you can see, I've already got it installed here, but normally we press explore and download, which search for mushroom, mushroom would appear here. Normally it would come up with this and it would say download. Once we've downloaded it, remember to refresh your browser to make it active. As you can see from the various different examples, the top one, just shows the name of the actual light that we're controlling and the current intensity. The second one here is actually showing the color that the actual light is at. Now at the moment it's set to the default color, so therefore it looks the same, but we'll change that later. Third one provides you with a slider bar so that you can set the intensity to whatever you desire. The fourth one has a temperature icon on the side and allows you to change the temperature. As you can see, these now have all changed to a more white as opposed to a more yellow. In other words, a higher Kelvin number. The fifth one in this example allows you to change the color and we can change that here. As you can see, these are all changing now to green. The top one is not. That one does not have the demonstration of the color of the lamp included into the icon. And the very last one here allows you to change the temperature and the color and the intensity at the same time. This is probably the most useful one of all of them. Again, though, we can always press and hold and bring up our more information and change it to whatever color from the presets or utilize wheels at the bottom for temperature or color or turn them off. Our next card is called the slider card. To be able to install the slider card, again, go into hacks, front end, explore and search for slider. Now it won't show up here because it's already installed. If I go back out and search at this level, I'll see something that says slider button card. This is the one that we're going to be using. We can see some of the various different configurations of the actual slider card. It looks pretty boring at this point in time. However, if I turn them on, you'll now see that I end up with an entity card that actually allows me to control the light via the slider, which is incorporated into the card itself. It's a nice looking card. And when mixed with other cards, such as a grid card or a horizontal card, 
this can create some very impressive results. This card is not only specifically to control lights. In the example two here, this is actually controlling the volume of the Studio Echo. In example three, I have a temperature offset from my patio motion sensor, which is set at 10 degrees. By clicking into it, I can actually change the value. In example four, I can slide the intensity across and change the intensity or turn the whole light off if I want. But I also be able to bring up more information and control it from here if I so desire. The next example, I've turned off the color of the light. So it just shows a pure blue. In the next example, I put in a ramp to give you a visual representation of the intensity of the light itself. In the next example, I'm actually controlling some, some study blinds. The great thing about using this card in this point is that I can actually set this down to a point as well. And finally, we can mix and match these together. So in this card, I have a horizontal card where I showed the master bedroom lights at 46%. I can turn them off and on, or I can set the intensity of the actual light itself. I also have a switch that I can turn off and on as well by using the same card. And also I can control the blinds. These are all great examples of slider, a very powerful card and one of my new favorite ones. Our next card is the Light Entity card. As you can see, it's a very pretty card, but that displays the color wheel straight off and gives you a lot of flexibility around adjusting various different attributes of the lights or the light group. To be able to install this, as it's not a current Lovelace default, go into Hacks, go into Front End. I already have it installed here, but normally we'd go to the Explore Downloads and Repositories, and then we'd search for Light Entity Card. And Light Entity Card would appear here, and we just download it. As I said, I already have it installed, so it won't appear in my list. Now let's have a look inside of one of these to see at the various different components. You can see there are multiple different selections that you can make to this. I'll leave you to play with these ones, but the most important ones, the top one, which is the light intensity, there's the color of the actual light, there's the temperature of the light. You can set the white of the light as well, just in case your bulb actually has a color LED, but also has the white LED included into it. Some do this so that they can get more intense whites that can be controlled, as opposed to mixing the colors to be able to create a white. You can remove the titles, you can remove the toggles. You can show it so that it doesn't show the actual forced features and just shows the basics, which is the intensity and the color of the white, but still leaves the color wheel. But if you don't want the color wheel, you can just take the color wheel off and leave it as a very basic. You can adjust whether you want to see the icon or not. You can hide the header completely. It's a very versatile card that allows for minimalistic adjustment of very detailed attributes of the actual light. Our next card is the Hue like light card to be able to install it again we need to go across into hacks front end and we've already got it installed if we search for hue we'll see it there but normally we go down into top bottom right hand corner click on and click for hue once we found it we press download and remember to refresh our browser the hue like light card bit of a tongue twister is probably one of the prettiest light cards that we can install now at the moment, it looks pretty plain in because of the fact that it's controlling the master bedroom lights and they're all the same color. If I switch across back into the like entity card, I can see that I can adjust the left and right, which are part of the master bedroom light group. If I change the left one to a different color to the right one, and now I move back into the hue like light card, I should be able to see that they'll change and it gives you the representation of those different colors across the entities of the master bedroom lights. We can also have some configuration in there to set the intensity. We can click on it as usual and it will bring up the more information, which in this case is quite a nice pictorial of the two different cards. We've got our right, we have our left, and we have a pictorial of the combined color between the two of them. We can control them individually. And as you see, 
the master bedroom lights will change to the predominant color that is turned on at this point in time. And if we turn our left one back on, we get a mix between the two. Let's have a look at the YAML code behind this. Edit our dashboard, go into our entity, and as you can see, it's a custom card, we're giving it a title, and we have three entities that are associated with it. It's associating the top level group as the master bedroom lamps, but the lower ones are going to be shown inside of the more information as well as the master bedroom lights. I'll put links in the description as into the card and all the functionality associated with this card. Finally, we have the RGB light card. It's a flexible card, but again, pretty basic in its functionality. It's not that visually striking. However, having the flexibility to be able to change some of the labels, the icons, the RGB colors, etc., can be very powerful. To install the RGB light card, we move across into Hacks, Front End. Now, because I already have it, it'll show up here. But normally, we go down to Explore, we search for RGB, and it would appear here. We press our Download, refresh our browser, and it now become available for Lovelace. If we look at some of the YAML code that sits behind this, I think you'll understand what we're talking about in relation to the flexibility of it. Edit the dashboard. Let's go and have a look at this one. Now we can see that the entity is actually going to be on the left light. We can see that the colors are specific on their RGB values. We can set the brightness for it and we can set the transition time. We can give it a color in relation to the individual icon and we can give it a label as well there are a lot of different configurations that we can apply to this by changing the size of the label the positioning of the label the color of the icon etc i'll leave that up to you i'll put links in the description below to the actual github where it goes to what you can achieve with this card some other notable features of this card are that you can actually set on the presets the individual icon that appears and you can pick what icon you can pick the color of the background of the icon and the label associated with the icon as well as you can see here there's a handy tool called the icon tool i'll put links in the description below this allows you to pick the icon that you want inside of your preset circle the color that you want inside of it and then it will create a link for you as you can see here so that you can direct directly to that icon link there's no right way or wrong way in relation to creating dashboards. This might be the perfect card for you to be able to have that manipulation and configuration of the card to be able to meet your specific requirements. So to round up, there is no perfect card that meets all the requirements. And even if there was, it would be so complex that it would be a nightmare to configure. But what we do have is the basic Lovelace light card that is a great start off and to get you up and running quickly and can be easily understood and configured. Then you have several more advanced cards created by the Home Assistant community that provide a lot of flexibility to meet specific requirements, be they aesthetic appealing, ultimate control of every aspect of the light, or a fully minimalistic nature. The important takeaway from this is that you now understand some of the different styles and types of light card that are available, and how to install these and access the documentation so that you can tweak these to your specific needs. I hope you enjoyed looking at these light cards and that it's inspired you to install and play with what's out there and how you can enhance your dashboard to meet your needs. Please comment, like, subscribe, and ding that bell uh, to be notified when new videos become available. I know this sounds like the same saying, but it really does help the channel to inspire me to be able to continue to create this content and help all of us on our smart home journey.